Hello, Chaplain Bob here. Listen, if you want to know what the position of the Bible is on a topic, just look what the world teaches and do the opposite. Oh, uh, feminism, right? Let's go to Titus chapter 2. Now, Titus was written by Paul. A lot of people will say, oh, this ain't true because Paul wrote it and he's a false apostle. Well, I don't think so, but that's what some people say. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home. Now, my note here. The thing is, the tax burden is so high nowadays that unfortunately, it seems like both parents have to work. But I tell you what, if a woman's out working in the home, making a minimum wage job, by the time you add up, the car payments, the insurance payments, the, uh, uh, who is it, the people that keep the kids, the daycare and all that crud? I, you know, somebody showed me one time that the wife was working uh, a full-time minimum wage job, and by the time they paid all the bills, she was bringing home maybe $20 a week. So, is it worth giving a stranger your kid, that they could be abused physically, spiritually, sexually for 20 bucks a week, you know, uh, find a job that you can do from the home. Uh, you know, even if, if you can only make 50 bucks a week, it's, it'd be better than that, you know. But uh, so verse five, to be discreet, chase keepers at home, good obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. So, you know, what can I tell you? Today's, uh, today's world is a different thing. Back in the 50s, uh, a man could get a job and have the wife stay home. But uh, that's pretty much impossible nowadays. You know, there was a... I remember... When I was in college, I was in business college, I took computer science and business administration. And I still remember to this day, and you're talking back in the 80s, he was an accounting professor. And he held up a, a loaf of whole wheat bread. You know, not that white wonder bread that we used to get uh, for cheap. I don't remember how much it cost back then, but you know, it was more expensive. It was a, a, you know, a decent loaf of bread that had some health to it. But he held up this loaf of bread, and it was more than a dollar. I remember that. So maybe it was a dollar, dollar and a quarter, dollar fifty. I don't remember. But he held up this loaf of bread, and he says, Do you know that there are over 100 different taxes in this loaf of bread? Yeah. He says, on this dollar something loaf of bread, the farmer that grew the wheat gets a nickel or less. Then he says, you know, there's a, you know, there was tax on the, the, uh, the tractor. There was tax on the wheat seed. There was tax on the diesel that went into the tractor. There was road tax. And uh, he started listing all the taxes. And there was over a hundred different taxes on that loaf of bread. The miller, the guy that ground, ground, ground up the wheat, he had to pay taxes. You know, when you put some sugar in the, the wheat uh, to make the bread, there was tax on that. Uh, you know, the, uh, the yeast, tax on that. I mean, it's just so many different things that had taxes on it. I mean, really, the diesel on the uh, tractor, the combine, all, <laughs> unbelievable. 
you know, and then there, they had to be transported. They, you know, they pay tax. And then the grocery store, they pay tax. You know, the company that got the profits from it, they pay tax. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And you wonder, so on a dollar loaf of bread, the farmer got less than a nickel. Something is wrong with that picture. And you wonder why a husband and a wife today both have to work. But you know what? If if you have to, find a way to work from home and uh, keep an eye on your kids. There was a YouTube video of a daycare uh, employee, I won't call him a worker, where they grabbed a kid by the hand and threw him up against a wall, cracked his skull. And, uh, and then there's others where uh, kids of color were biting the white kid and beating him up. I mean, boy, they learn at a very young age, don't they? Uh, you know, this is what you want your kids to go through. And I'll tell you what, um, in eighth grade, I got stuck going to a school of 60 plus percent color. And uh, I never had so many problems in all my life. I learned very young. Lord taught me a lesson. So, and uh, yeah, we actually got stoned on the school bus. No, in eighth grade, I wasn't smoking weed. No, the, uh, the animals, the two-legged ones, started picking up rocks and throwing them at us. And uh, the glass was shattering. The bus windows were, glass was shattering and flying all over the place. And the, this bus, the driver uh, almost popped a wheelie with the school bus and got out of there as quickly as she could. So, uh, yeah. Ladies, protect your kids and look out after your guy if you got one. Because I'll tell you what, things are going to get bad and you're going to need, you're going to probably need your man. So, feminism? No, thank you. All right, Chaplain Bob, signing off. All glory to Jesus and God the Father. In Jesus' name, amen.